This is precisely why they're unwilling to compromise their sexuality in the name of some official religious view. Because it's as persons of their own sexual identities that they're also religious. The sexual and the spiritual intertwine in ways that make it difficult for them to choose one or the other. Indeed, most of the LGBTHQ respondents do not think that they have to or ought to have to choose one or the other. When it comes to lived Christianity and lived sexuality, the LGBTHQ respondents in our survey were prepared to do a lot of negotiations in order to piece together their identities in ways that took the, that what they saw as best from Christianity without internalizing, or at least trying not to internalize, whatever negative messages they received about sexuality and especially about minority sexuality. They didn't easily compartmentalize their sexuality from their religiosity. Their religiosity connected them strongly to their lives in the world and how they thought they ought to live those lives. Their sexuality was part and parcel of that living. Both sexuality and religion were experienced as fluid and changing. But interestingly enough, they seem to think, and um, I have to give some more thought to this, and we're certainly going to raise this in the interview portion of the, of the uh, study. Uh, interestingly enough, they seem to think that their religion is more negotiable than their sexuality. That is, they present their sexuality much more as a given, and their religion much more as something to be negotiated, which I think is quite interesting. Um, this might not be a huge surprise, given that they'd undoubtedly already had to struggle to name and claim their sexuality. And having been able to identify themselves as LGBTHQ, they weren't easily going to give up on that identification for religious or any other purposes. Some saw sexual practice as negotiable, but not their orientation. So the preferred resolution when religion and sexuality come into conflict is that religion should change with the times. Although Christianity was important to them, it wasn't for most of this group religion as officially endorsed and practiced, but religion as experienced through community and religion as a shaper and supporter of more generalized laudable values. This group understands Christianity to have a strong ethical component. It supports them in their struggles to do good in the world. If they ceased to understand religion as supporting the ethical lives that they seek to live, then it would seem to me that many in this group would find other ways to, uh, to find support for their strongly held values. Certainly as we go through the interview stage of the project, that's another thing that we're interested in exploring. Some respondents in this group belonged to churches that accept their sexuality, and some did not. Some find their sexuality in conflict with their specific church's stance, or the stance that they understand to be more general Christian stance on same-sex relationships. And although some of them found this a worrisome challenge, they couldn't see themselves rejecting their sexuality. Um, one of the things we also want to explore in the next section of the uh, study is this connection that turns up fairly often between sexuality and religion, or sexuality and spirituality. I won't talk about that. Um, we don't know if the respondents in our survey joined or would have joined a gay-straight alliance in high school. But their propensity for seeing their religion in terms of living out of values and the fact that they are joiners, that is, most of them belong to religious communities, suggests that they're just the sort of people who would not only join themselves, but who would want to have such groups as places for others to experience the love and justice they take to be such central values. Although there seemed to be an assumption on the part of the religious officials quoted at the beginning of the paper that sexual minority students could not also be students who were seeking to be religiously committed and faithful, this selection of our survey respondents is both, in varying ways and to varying degrees, but both. The point is this. Students who might choose a gay-straight alliance might also be religiously thoughtful and committed. They should be allowed to speak for religion, too, and heard when they do. Um, 